Juvenile myoclonic epilepsy is most often diagnosed in teenagers, usually um, young teenagers. Um, and the typical presentation is with a first time generalized tonic clonic seizure. Oftentimes this will happen in the morning hours, um, shortly after waking up. Whenever we um, see these patients, we actually have to inquire about the myoclonic seizures. Um, myoclonic seizures are not often recognized as seizures by either the patient or their family, but with special, you know, with questioning about, you know, had they been clumsy in the morning, dropping objects, we can often elicit that history um, and then recognize that we're seeing both seizure types, uh, generalized tonic-clonic seizures seizures as well as myoclonic seizures. These patients do sometimes have absence seizures as well, um, which are brief staring spells. These patients also should have an EEG. There's a very characteristic EEG finding with generalized spike and wave that we see in these patients, and so that helps confirm the diagnosis.